if you live on the west side or anywhere that would be um, in the vicinity, you should have gotten a notice. Yeah, so. great. Uh, a lot of people got a notice by being woken up. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. got a notice by being woken up at 8 in the morning by this extremely loud whatever's going on. So and that's I, the concern. I yeah. do apologize for the inconvenience. Um, however, you know, we've been planning this for several months. It's been in the works. It's been, uh, there was a, a piece in the Gazette. So I think most people are pretty aware that it's happening. All of these neighbor, neighbors who've actually knocked on their doors and spoken with them and yeah. given them flyers and information. So... Yeah, well, I'm glad you're doing something. Uh, you know, yeah. it looks like it's positive, except for the noise. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Well, um, it doesn't really bother me that much, but I, I was asked by another person who lives here to, to do something about it, and so I'm taking action. This is my action. Okay, yeah. I understand. I think here's the deal: is that we are what we're about is creating positive connection in the community, and as you know, I mean, I feel like. Um, you know, we're not we're not attempting to um, you know disrupt anything or, or bother anyone. Um, so we're happy to keep it to um, a minimum if we can. Although we're yeah. going to have about 200 volunteers out here today, so the noise is probably just going to be an issue for. Well, there's going to be some that's unavoidable. Yes, exactly. That's avoidable. But again, the DJ seems pretty nice. He's taking some no. some degree Jefferson, of action. So Jefferson is so uh, very um, mm -hmm. a wonderful gentleman. So yes. However, um, you know. Basically, what we would ask is just that you also respect our event, and so what we're trying to do is create a positive atmosphere for everyone who came out and wants to participate. And so, um, you know, by by coming in and kind of, um, you know, being um, basically be, being <laughs> filming, um, you know, and he hasn't signed a waiver to be filmed and so on, um, it creates a little bit of dissonance that we're trying to avoid. So basically, we want everybody to come here and feel like they're doing something great because they are, and. Oh, so just, as long as the noise is at an acceptable level, you won't be seeing me again. So, okay. Except maybe on YouTube. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, so, uh, what can I do basically to make this uh, better for you? Oh, just it's a matter of keeping the volume down. Uh, I'm not sure if it's low enough right now or not. I can't really tell because I'm inside. Uh, it sounds like it's probably still a little going to be a little on the, on the loud side at this point. Probably needs to come down a little bit more. But other than that, I don't think I don't think okay, there's too it, much of an issue. It's just what it what we need to do is just make sure that everybody on this property is able to hear it, but that it's not <coughs> disruptive, yeah. um, you know, outside of this. So yeah. um, this is probably the level where we're going to keep it. Okay. I don't know for sure that this is unacceptable. I'll know more when I get back to the, fo okay. the folks. So it sounds like you're talking to somebody else who's upset. So is it, would it be possible for that person to speak to us directly? That's conceivable. I could ask them okay. if they want to come over here so too. So that would be great yeah. because that way I can have a conversation with the person who's actually, um, you know, upset. Well, it, and then when I say it's not bothering me that much, it's still obvious to me that it's extremely loud. And I mean, right. you know, it's bothering me a little bit. So. Uh, I, I think I count to, I'm, oh, I'm in absolutely. the area too. But just so, since you said yeah. you were headed back to someone, I thought yeah. maybe if we just had a conversation with that person. You can have more people come and complain if you want. Well, <laughs> so. the thing is, for me, it's, it's an opportunity for me to talk to them and tell yeah. them a little bit more about what's going on.
about what they're doing or what we're doing if they don't uh. already know. And so, um, thank you, Jim. Um, if you don't already, if they don't already know, and yeah. so that would be, um, you know, my goal there. So it's not. That's it's not fine. About, you I'll know, tell them that you invited them to come over and complain. <laughs> no, tell them that I invited them to come over and have a conversation. That's going to be a complaint. <laughs> So, so, I'm Katie, by the way. Hi, Dave Ridley, Ridleyreport.com. It's like a poor man's TV station. All right, you just happen you. to be making noise next to a reporter. So. Okay. Do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM, Feds don't want you to hear them.